As more U.S. states, now at least a dozen, confirm COVID-19 infections, the U.S. President Donald Trump said his administration is doing everything it can and everything it should. We have already met with state, county, and health officials in 30 states and conducted regular briefings with governors to coordinate our response and contain the disease. On Tuesday, Trump toured a federal vaccine research center. The U.S. president pushing for an aggressive response, not just to prevent further spread, but also to find effective therapy for those infected. The country's top infectious disease doctor telling a Senate committee several options are in the works. I expect that at least one of those candidates, and it's not the only one, will likely go into clinical trials in a phase one study within about two months or maybe even six weeks. That would be a record. However, that is not a vaccine. Also on Capitol Hill, lawmakers were close to approving some $7.5 billion in emergency funding. It's triple what the White House asked for. That original request rejected by the Senate's top Democrat is too little, too late. Congress, the Democrats and Republicans, House and Senate, are acting like the adults in the room. We're not letting President Trump's accusations and nastiness, his false statements, and his inability to really grapple with the problem and instead try to brush it away, get in our way of doing what America needs to have done and done immediately. The money would fund federal and state responses and the federal drive for a vaccine. And it may also provide loans to small businesses affected by coronavirus concerns. Responding to what it calls new risks, the Federal Reserve on Tuesday made a rare intermeeting emergency rate cut. We do recognize that a rate cut will not reduce the rate of infection. It won't fix a broken supply chain. We get that. We don't think we have all the answers. But we do believe that our action will provide a meaningful boost to the economy. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said it will send out some 2,500 testing kits to hospitals across the country. This amid concern by some that there simply is not enough to go around. Meanwhile, U.S. Vice President Mike Pence, the man running the White House task force on coronavirus, said that state and local authorities will now take the lead in identifying new outbreaks, focusing in particular on elder care facilities. Rowie Ruttenberg, CGTN in Washington.